Dear Editor. I am the Dear Editor, and I will be making gumbo today. So if you are interested in figuring out how this Cajun makes his food, come join us as we uh, prepare food together. All right. Eh, it's fine. Anyway, um, we are going to be, like I said, making gumbo today. It's going to be fun, and I hope you enjoy it. Go ahead and say hi while I get my last thing. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't think anyone's in here yet, so it's fine. See, zero viewers. About normal for my streams, so it's okay. Dental paperwork. Yes, I know. They sent me dental paperwork too. But like they keep doing it. Yeah, because they're probably doing it for you and the kids. Okay, so anyway, I've gathered up most of my spices. I've got my already cooked meat. Um, I'll help. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way so I can actually see what's going on. Can I um, help? Sure, sweetie, you can help. Let me get my uh, yes, you should always wash your hands before you get started. Um, Why am I watching bracelet? Um, you'll be fine. Okay, I use a combination of seafood and poultry in my gumbo, um, which is supposedly a no-no. Um, I guess because normally, you cannot, uh, you cannot, you can't taste it. Uh, one overloads the other, so when you, you don't want to put poultry and seafood together, normally. However, with uh, turkey, turkey has enough of a flavor that it holds onto it for itself, and the seafood also, so it allows it to still retain its own flavor, so you get a little bit of the turkey, you get this... Um, seafood flavor. Uh, seafood I'm going to be using is going to be uh, imitation crab meat because that's what my wife loves and some shrimp. So uh, prep wise what we're going to be doing today um, the turkey that we did uh, a couple of weeks ago um, well actually a month ago and I froze what was left uh, we're going to be cutting it up uh, um, okay uh, I was just given some technical difficulties that I need to fix. Well, no one's in here yet, so we'll go and fix that real quick. I don't know why it's doing that. It only says I can send it to You can send it, but you can't... There's no share. You cannot share it. Huh. thing at the top that says you control who can see this post. Oh, yeah. I, I do limit a lot of my sharing stuff because I don't like... Uh, for just anybody to do anything. Uh, all right, let's see. That's weird. Well, I'm gonna go fix it real quick. Let's see. Uh, edit audience. Public. Okay, you could you should be able to share it now. That ought to that ought to have fixed it. All right. To a page. Under one. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, time for me to get back to the actual food prep. All right. And once again, background music being provided by my son, who thinks he's awesome, because he is. Anyway. All right. That ought to give a... Oh. The dear wife, ladies and gentlemen. I, that is not my name. That is your name. That is not my name. That is your name. Do not brandish a butter knife at me. Just because nobody's watching and you can get away with it. 
Oh, I Anybody see. Anybody was watching, they'd be like, Brandon Shin again. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm trying to get everything decided on. <sighs> So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get our pot ready. Um, over here, ugh, that's what we're gonna be cooking in. Got a nice uh, 15 inch Magnolite. Um, it's, uh, we've had it for quite some time now. And uh, let you see, there's nothing in it right now, but I'm about to change that. All right, just a canola oil. We're not gonna put a whole lot because uh, you don't want it to be too greasy. But we're gonna put enough so that when I move it around, get a nice, good, even coat. All right. So what we're doing here is we're faking a roux. Uh, normally, if you're making a big pot of gumbo like this, you would be making a full-on roux um, that would be used to create the graviness of it. Yeah. And, um, and so that's what you would do. You, uh, you would spend an hour, hour and a half, well, okay, not that long, uh, about 30 minutes making a good roux. Uh, nice and dark, uh, especially for gumbo, it's going to be dark. I cheat. And you can thank my mom for this. So it's my mom's fault. Blame her. Um, this product right here, it's great. It has a wonderful flavor, and you don't have to spend 30 to 45 minutes making a roux. Um, which I would, I do make roux uh, for my pork stew. For my gumbo, I don't, because I want to get it going. All right. Um, so, uh, omelet. I need the biggest plastic cutting board from over there. Just put it on the counter for now. Biggest plastic cutting board? Yep. None of us are great to be your wingman. No, she asked if she could help. <laughs> Showing off her new Christmas hoodie that she's all warm in. All right, uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this onion. Um, I'm going to use uh, part of it when I make the roux. Okay, you gotta go eat. Enjoy your lunch, sweetie. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep this onion. Um, my gumbo is gonna contain, like I said earlier, we're gonna use turkey, um, crab meat, shrimp, uh, andouille sausage, and squash, and okra. Uh, the squash may sound weird to some people, but it's, um, it actually works out really well. Um, if you put it in early, it just falls apart. And it, thick, it helps thicken it with the okra. Uh, if you put it in late, uh, in, in decent sized chunks, um, it actually will absorb a lot of the gumbo flavor and you'll get uh, really tasty chunks of soft, uh, fleshy vegetable. It, it helps fills out the pot. It helps makes it stretch further because um, a lot of times when I'm cooking this, I'm trying to feed my family uh, for three or four, maybe five times. Um, so it's uh, one of those things that um, we've kind of figured out over the years that really works well for us. So uh, every time we cook a turkey, we eat about half the bird, um, and then the other half we go ahead and freeze, and I've got that, uh, it's been defrosting a couple of days. So the meat's all already cooked. So that's one of the things. If you only had a couple hours to make this, uh, like it had to be ready in a couple hours, we actually could technically, let's see, it's 1140 right now. So if I got it cooking on the stove by say uh, 1230, one o'clock, we could actually eat this at two or three. Um, it doesn't have to cook that long. We prefer for it to cook down further, uh, get thicker. Uh, it's just, it's nice. Uh, now, um, I need to apologize in advance. I am not making potato salad to go with this, which I know is also a travesty. Aside from putting squash in it, I'm not making potato salad, uh, mostly for three reasons. One, it's gross. She doesn't appreciate it. Two, 
Um, just time-wise, uh, it takes a lot of stuff. And, and, and three, I, I'm out of potatoes, so kind of kind of can't do it. Uh, so anyway, um, let's go ahead and start prepping our vegetables. I'm going to grab some bowls to put them in uh, and throw them in the fridge so that they're ready to go into the pot when it's all uh, said and done. So let's get started. All right. So for this onion, I'm also going to be using uh, as part of my prep stuff, a, uh, a bunch of seasoning blend from, um, oh, who makes that stuff? Pixie. Uh, they make a frozen seasoning blend. It's onion, celery, bell pepper, parsley already together. So onion, bell pepper, celery, there you've already got the trinity. Okay. Uh, so hi, Evan. Um, You've already got the trinity there. The reason I'm using a fresh onion as well is because there's just something better about a fresh onion. It's more aromatic, it's got more flavor to it. Um, the freezing process, you lose some stuff, sadly. But, um, you can still use it, it's still good. Um, I just want it to be better. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use a fresh onion. Um, I've also got some uh, minced garlic, I hope. Yeah, there's still some, some left. Um, that we'll be throwing in there as well. Um, sadly, we lost like a whole bag of onions this morning because one of them went bad and got all over the others. But thankfully, I still had some more. Oh, good. You had some more onions. I did have some more onions. So. All right. He's about cutting onions. I guess you'd like to see this, huh? You yeah, see him cut the onion. There we go. Are All people right. watching the live stream? Have you got any messages? I have not got any messages, and according to this, no viewers either, so. Wait, let's uh, see got Mr. Come yeah, on. Mr. Logan. Mr. Logan has, you know, decided he's uh, too good for me, I guess. Either that or he's probably busy. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Logan is a pastor. He's a pastor? Yes. I mean, technically. He's a youth pastor, and I think that counts. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Um, this is how I dice an onion. I don't know how you do it. Um, but this is how I do it. I go along the length here, and then get the side to this part right there, then boom. Diced onion. Now I'm going to do the second one. How'd you get all the way over here? And it's a spicy onion, too. Oh, my goodness. Mm. The eyes, they are watering. So, if you're not in here, it's, it's your own fault for not being in here to see me cry. <sighs> what is it, Evan? Uh, no, not yet. But, man, these are, these are stout. Wrong bowl. Okay. A little bit of that skin left. Go ahead and get rid of that. Now, we're going to put that in there. All right. So now we got some onion. We're going to use about half that onion uh, once we get the uh, oil heated up. Uh, and some minced garlic. The rest we'll put in fresh. All right. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands because I'm not dumb. I've cut enough onions in my life to know that if you touch your face with oniony hands, it's bad. All right. Alright. 
All right, so that is one onion prepped. We're gonna go ahead and get another bowl. I just realized I've got more, more stuff in there that I can do before I get that turkey on the board. So, look at that beautiful onion. Beautiful onions. And powerful. Um, okay, I'm getting ready to cut another vegetable, so not really worried about cross-contamination just yet. Um, all these vegetables have been uh, pre-cleaned. So they're not dangerous. Yeah, I've got some first, I'll save that for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, and I might stream that too, tomorrow I am going to be making some corned beef cabbage, corned beef and cabbage, and black eyed peas. So that'll be fun. All right. So, we're gonna rinse these vegetables. there's anyone in here but or at least I can't see uh, if you're watching me through Facebook or some other means uh, don't comment through Facebook because I will not get those comments um, you're gonna need to comment through either the twitch.tv website or the app um, either one will allow you to message the stream and I'll actually see it um, otherwise I will not see it uh, because I don't get Facebook notifications because I value my time. Okay. So these were kind of thin squash. I value your time enough not to get constant Discord notifications. Um, yeah, I turned some of those off too. Like while you're driving and stuff. Yeah, huh? Any, anything else from the... Um... Not right now. Okay, all right. Well, let's continue on then. Um, all right, so the squash was kind of small, so I'm gonna go ahead and use all four pieces. Uh, normally, I just use like two big ones, um, so uh, we're gonna get started with this. As with most vegetables, you take the ends off. Um, hello and welcome to my stream. I'm making gumbo. I see I have a viewer. Um, I don't know who it is. They are not commenting so I can't tell you it's probably just mama so but that's okay I love yeah, mama too I, I would I, I like is a strong word son like is a strong word um, okay so uh, if you want it to hold up leave your chunks bigger if you want it to fall apart make them smaller uh, for my kids likings we're gonna make them just a hair smaller um, and I mean you're just looking like maybe one inch cube that kind of thing um, so there's one squash done up uh, I'm gonna cut that one in half want these to kind of just fall apart in the gumbo um, just to add more um, substance to it. Uh, it goes further that way. All right, so continuing on, I'm gonna cut this section off, make chunks of it. All right, so we're just prepping the squash this way. So. Uh, I love the sound of a knife going through stuff like that. So calming. All right. Okay, this one's a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and do the, my normal method. Hey, sweetie. Can I help you now? Um, I'm not sure. If I need help, I will call you, okay? Okay. All right. I'll just watch. 
That's fine. Yes, yes, I am. I am live streaming. <sighs> All right, so last piece of squash here. Ew. What? I don't like big squash. It's not going to be big, sweetie. How? How is it not going to be big? You know it cooks down. Into mush. Basically. All right. All right. So we've got our squash cut up now. I love squash. Look at those nice big pieces of squash. Remember all the other live streams? Do yeah, you have to wash those? I did wash them. Oh, you mean the gloves? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I washed them too. Um, yeah, but is there any more in the box? Uh, it wasn't a box. It was a bag. And I... I washed them before I used them just to make sure everything was sanitary. Yeah, All right, Omri, I need a uh, the bag of andouille. Are they reusable? Oh, yeah, no. no. It, out of the fridge. Out of the fridge, sweetie. Right there on top. Right. And there's our mom coming in the kitchen. Right there. No. Right there. Like, you're looking everywhere but where I point. Thank you. No, just the one. All right, uh, now we're gonna start with some of the meat. Uh, this is a pre-cooked sausage that is um, native to uh, Louisiana, sort of. <laughs> uh, it's a Cajun sauce, it's called andouille. Um, it's got larger chunks of uh, pork in it. It's very tasty. Um, I use uh, Savoie's andouille. I mean, I'm and sorry, not... Richard's on Dewey, um, because it's not as spicy as the Savoie's. Can All right. Eat raw? Um, it has been smoked, so technically you're just supposed to heat it up and get it uh, to where it needs to be temperature-wise. All right. Um, normally I would just slice it. Uh, but the dear wife prefers it cut in half and sliced. Uh, it makes it go further. Dear wife. That's not right. Dear wife. Then what wife. do you want me to call you? I have an identity apart from any of you. Okay. Dear wife. Oh. Dear wife. You do have an identity apart from me and part from that but this is my stream so it doesn't matter at all dear wife, dear wife. well i mean you give me nothing but junk on this stream so i mean why why can't i give you a little grief huh why, why is it only one way you want boiled eggs wow that's just dirty Dirty. Cause it's mommy's dirty. Alright. So we're going to use a pound of andouille. Just basically the whole pack. Um, uh, Mom and you are always being funny on the live stream. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, part of live streaming is to entertain people. Alright, so I'm going to get the last of this finished. Like you're being mean. And you're funny with it. Well, that's because we're funny like that. So, anyway, all right. Last couple of pieces. Basically, we're looking to make this go as far as we can. Um, this pot will feed us this time and probably four or five more times, maybe depending on how it uh, comes apart. All right, so. I want to help you with the seasonings. Oh, you want to help me with the seasonings, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know about else. all that. And everything else. Well, we're almost done with the um, chopping up of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? The onions are getting to me. Really? There, there's some good stout onions, like I said. 
Uh, no, I don't want to become famous by followers, prime, and viewers on bigfollows.com. Thank you, though. You can, you can go away now. Who is it? Uh, it's a spammer. What's a spammer? Uh, it is a person who comes into other people's streams and advertises their, um, their wares, whatever they may be. Um, basically putting chat on the screen that has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on on stream. Um, and... Mean. Huh? Mean. Yeah, it is mean. Um... And the thing is, is that usually the stuff that they're advertising violates the terms of service of the service that we're using. So, I'm going to delete that message because, no, not in my room, sir. Not in my room. There's someone at the door. See who it is before you just open it. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to pause the stream for a second, guys. Um, uh, cause I've got a roof leak and I have to go address it. So, um, I will be back, um, here in a little bit.